so in keeping the language the same as it is at the beginning, because it certainly is important for our students to evaluate evidence no. concerning the Big Bang model, that is the, the prevalent model that is presented scientifically, and we certainly want to have avid and intense discussions about that, and such as redshift and cosmic microwave background radiation. And then just to, to add that humility, and this is directly lifted from the astronomy teaks. I read to you early, earlier the astronomy teaks, and this language is straight from ast astronomy teak 13b. So after the comma where the underline is, and current theories of the evolution of the universe, including estimates for the age of the universe, that is um, the last portion of 13b from astronomy. I think that clarifies for our students and teachers. It lets them know um, that there are different estimates. I mean, these will be these teaks will be in place for the next uh, ten or more years, and th they will be taught about 12 to 14 billion years ago. But this leaves it open a little bit for them to discuss how many billions. Um, so I, I I like that language better in the astronomy. I thought they did a great job, and so. On the advice of many people, I amended the motion to this. Okay. Ms. Cargill's motion is to strike language, the concept of an expanding universe that originated about 14 billion years ago, and substitute current theories of the evolution of the universe, including estimates for the age of the universe. And. Uh, Mrs. Miller. Um, I have a question. Does this uh, open up the fact that you would be able to talk about uh, the literal biblical interpretation of of the uh, how old the Earth is? That's a good Ms. question. Um, but in the well, first of all, in astronomy, in the introduction for 13, it's the student knows the scientific theories of cosmology, so that takes care of an astronomy. And for the introduction for four. my place okay the student knows how earth-based and space-based astronomical observations reveal differing theories I I think that is a very scientific and it's certainly not intended to open any doors just like it wasn't in astronomy well I'm just taking their I'm just taking their language yeah okay thank you any more discussion we'll take a record vote this is for mrs. Cargill's amendment to amend earth space science teak 4A. What's your vote, Mrs. Knight? No. The motion carries no. 11 to 3.